if you haven't heard, AI has gotten mind-blowingly impressive about a year ago when OpenAI released GPT-2, a cutting-edge language model capable of producing written text with human-like quality. This guy took that technology and created an interactive RPG game entirely governed by the AI. Anything is possible, literally anything. You can type any action you think of and the AI will try to generate a story off of it. It's not always perfect, but you'll be surprised at what's possible. Hmm. AI Dungeon is an RPG text adventure like ones you might have heard of from the early days of gaming. There is an enormous difference though. You can type in literally anything. Pick a setting. It is designed to lead you on a quest to free the princess or kill the zombie overlord. Still, you can throw in any twisted thoughts that may come out of your head to craft your own adventure and AI Dungeon will turn that into a believable story. What follows is merely one attempt at pushing the system to respond to a custom, seemingly meaningless setting. However, no video would ever make you understand the awe you would feel when your phone writes your story more realistically than you could, so do yourself a favor and try it out on your own. It has recently been upgraded to the GPT-3 model, which in plain English is like going from flying Ryanair to flying space shuttle. Lift off. No, seriously, do check it out. You are nothing. Sitting on a chair in front of anything. Anything is possible. You are not. Anything told you that literally anything is possible. You can type in any action you think of and the AI will try to generate a story off of it. You think, it's not always perfect, but you'll be surprised at what's possible. You want to discover more of what's possible. You want to stop being nothing. Anything leans back in its chair and asks you, what are you? See, this is me hitting enter to ask the AI to generate the content. The setup I just read was written by me and I'll be writing some of the responses to push the story forward, but the majority of what you're about to hear is generated by the AI. So to make it simpler for you to understand who's writing, I'll distinguish my writing like this and AI's writing like that. So pay attention to these as you continue. The story itself is going to be a bit bizarre. If you haven't noticed yet, I've paraphrased the first paragraph of the help page to write the setup. It results in a story between two characters, the Nothing, the protagonist played by me, and the Anything, a godlike character trying to aid me in becoming something. I enjoy deliberately choosing unusual settings as this is where this game really shines in its ingenuity and surprises me with consistency. There are however some parts that I cut out, since they turned out less interesting and more misleading. So this is me admitting that this AI isn't perfect and warning you that there may be some jumps in the text as you read it. Still, what I'm about to show you is about 90% of this playthrough. I'm just me. You reply, anything sighs and says, Well, then you are nothing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do the voices. It sits down as well and waits for you to continue. You say, I attempt to become something over and over again, yet I never achieve anything. You say that anything is possible, then why does everything end in nothing? You stare at anything and ask, Why do things always end in nothing? Why can't I achieve anything? You sit up from your seat and look into its eyes. The world around you fades away as the blackness takes control of your mind. You say, I am ready, anything. Tell me what you know. Your eyes slowly begin to open as you look at anything. He looks at you as if weighing its words. 
I can't give you the answers you're looking for. You have to make that decision yourself. I can only show you the choices that lay before you. I understand, you reply, but what do I do? Anything pauses as if thinking carefully about the next words to come out of its mouth. You have three paths ahead of you. Go to the left, straight, or through the portal. Is there a trick to it? Do I have to do something a certain way? You ask. Not that I know of. It is up to you whether you go through the portal or not. But the choice is not up to me. You have to make that decision. What's the left path? You ask, standing up from your seat. The left path is unknown to me. But you are anything. You said that anything is possible. Shouldn't you know all the possibilities then? Anything is different than everything. I can only know a portion of everything and you would need to ask the other anything for the rest. There are more knowledgeable about everything. Can you at least tell me if the right path is available? Does the right path lead to something that is anything or does it lead to nothing? Anything pauses. I can't tell you that. You'll have to choose for yourself which path to take. You analyze the left, the right and the portal. You look for differences, for things that could help you to make the right decision. Okay, you say, turning to anything. Can you tell me what the left and the right paths have in common? Anything pauses once again. Well, they both lead to nothing. You smile a bit as you know that already. Anything else? Anything other than nothing have in common these two? Anything thinks for a bit before replying. They're both paths of the unknown. You say, then I choose to go through the portal. You smile as you get to your feet. The nothingness that you once feared surrounds you and you feel your mind expanding once again. You look at the nothingness surrounding you once more before stepping through it. You enter the portal and ascend from nothingness. You step through the portal, finding yourself surrounded by an endless void. You look around desperately, but there is nowhere to go. Everything is grey and featureless. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on, I have a good old day. A voice calls. You turn around, finding yourself faced with the nothingness again, but now there is a pair of scales here. On one side of the scales is written hate, on the other is love. Well, which one will you pick? You observe the two scales. Look for details and remarks that could help you make the right decision. You stare at the two opposing sides of the scale, examining them both carefully. On the side of hate is written the nothingness. But also written there are two references to the void. You look at the side of love. The side of love reads the Godhead. You compare the nothingness with the Godhead. You look at the two scales and notice that they are quite different. On the Godhead side it is written, you have made a good decision. But also written there are many comments, supporting your choice and explaining why it is the right choice. Anything? What side would you choose if you were me? There is a pause. The void. Anything says. Anything else? Nothing. You sigh and look at the side of the void. That's good enough for me. I'll go through the void. You step on the side of hate. As you step through the portal, you find yourself falling through the endless void. There is no sound, just a crashing feeling in your chest as you fall further and further through the void. Is this the right path? I wanted to leave the void, leave the nothingness. I wanted to achieve anything that is possible, literally anything. Is, is it what waits for me there? It is possible that you could find yourself in an endless loop in which you keep returning to the void. That would be a terrible fate. Anything else? You think for a moment and then you have an idea. Anything at all? Tell me, what do I need to do to escape the endless loop? Nothing. 
You need to jump when you see the right time to come. Anything else? Yeah, what's the right time? I don't know. You'll know it when you see it. You sigh. You have no idea what to expect. You step back through the portal, closing your eyes as you do so. You jump off the edge of the void, falling through the emptiness. You hope you find something better than this. You hope that you find something or someone to keep you going. You hope that you don't die in this void. You hope that you jump off the void before you go insane. I think that's enough. I can't keep on pushing this AI any further. And um, I'm running out of ideas of what to tell it. But nonetheless, I think it's completely mind blowing how far you can push this system. Like this was built to provide you with some, some entertainment in RPG scenarios. But the truth is you can really type in anything and even out of meaningless gibberish, you can still generate a believable and fun story. It may not be so adventurous and you may not rescue the princess and slay the dragon, but still it's cohesive and it makes sense. It's crazy. I've already played through uh, several scenarios that I purposefully tried to make stupid and meaningless and kind of difficult for the AI to, to play with. And I feel that every single time was there is some parts that kind of navigate away from what I would expect and, and become a little bit meaningless, there's always something that the AI will generate that completely blows my mind because it's so cohesive and so meaningful in the setting that I've created. Even though the setting itself is so meaningless and so pointless and so abstract. Super cool, super cool, mind blowing. Only you can imagine how far this technology will take you in you know, five, 10 years time. It's crazy, get used to the fact that what you're gonna be reading no longer will come from our heads, but it will come from the neural networks that make this system. If what you just heard sounded fascinating, do watch some videos about GPT-3 and what is it capable of. Most of us could be not aware of this, but things are going to change more than we can understand. And AI Dungeon does a great job at showcasing what possibilities could be laying out there for us to discover in the near future.